Chloe, and I'm here with one of our favorite reality stars, Danielle Staub. You probably know her from the Real Housewives of New Jersey, but now she's here in our New York offices to discuss her brand new reality TV show, and it is not on Bravo, it's on VH1, it's called Famous Food, and it premieres July 10th. Thank you so much for coming in oh, here. My pleasure. You know I always I've come. missed you. I know. That's a whole different thing to talk about. So no more East Coast. So you went to California. Tell me a little bit about Famous Food. What is this show? Oh, God. I feel so blessed to become a part of this, this phenomenon. It's really, really going to take off. And um, it's opening a restaurant in 30 days with six celebrities plus an ex-call girl. And, you know, we have to do everything. But in order to get this open, we have to work together but we're also competing to win ownership and partnership with the Dolce Group, Mike and Lonnie. Right, right. And um, to be honest with you, you have to sort of go in with your A game and you have to, you know, find everybody's weaknesses and I'm pretty good at that. And, um, you know, you have to have a plan. There are some celebrities on here that um, are almost like villainesses in their own right. We have Heidi Montag mm -hmm. from The Hills. Um, we also have Ashley Dupree, famous call girl. And what was it like working with those women? Were their friendships made, enemies made? There is definitely some disagreements, let's put it that way. And if you take both Heidi and Ashley and you add their ages together, you actually equal mine. <laughs> so going in, I thought to myself, well, it's easy for me to find Ashley's buttons. Talking about the f checkbook, you don't even know how to balance an account. If someone's going to take a confrontational tone with me, I'm going to come right back at them. So you have to find their buttons. And with Heidi, it was pretty easy to see in the trailer, you know, where Heidi and I bonded over. Don't ever disrespect me. You got that? Crazy it's an interesting concept they came up with. It is. And minds. so, you know, in terms of this concept, food, mm -hmm. you know, we know you're Italian, you have an amazing figure, but are you a foodie? Do oh, yeah. I'm a total foodie. So I actually have a cookbook coming out in the second quarter okay. of the year, of the, of the new year, 2012. Um, people are going to see a side of me that's still the drama, still the, you know, the reality villain that I am, and people have come to embrace me and know me for but also going to see a side of me that's not only competitive, but that knows food very, very well. Hello, I'm Italian, so who knows food better than me? Going in and being able to show myself in a different light, but then drop all those thoughts and just go, wait, 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 this recipe needs this and this needs that. You just really start to forget there's cameras there. And you were involved in every aspect of this restaurant. Everything to down be. to the design, the layout, you know, hiring the staff and things mm -hmm. like that. What challenges did you find that you faced? The biggest challenges for me were actually just trying to make sure that my ideas stuck like glue. So anytime you leave to go do a task, you have to wonder what's going on back at the restaurant because the only strategy really that a couple of them could have was let's undo what she did or take her idea and put ours in there. Every time I think we've got it figured out, take 10 steps back. You'll just have to see how I come back with guns blazing, basically, you know. Well, you know the, the <laughs> infamous table flipping scene um, with oh, Teresa. Oh, we're top of that. I saw on <laughs> the super trailer today that there is some table flipping there. Oh, no, it's not flipping. It's throwing. <laughs> That's the real deal. And yeah. then also, are there any love interests going on here? You have Jake Pavelka, who's single. You have 3-6 Mafia, who looked in the trailer to have a little thing for Ashley. Two things that I know about Ashley Dupree. She's hella fine. She loved to have sex. Bang, bang, bang. I don't think you're going to see a lot of love interests going on through the ones that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. But um, Is there possibly I something? There's... Did you find love while filming Famous Food? You know, I found a great reconnection and love for food and my passion. Well, listen, Danielle, thank you so much for stopping by. And remember, everyone, tune in this Sunday, July 10th on BH1 for the premiere episode of Famous Food. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you.